What's up, data lovers? Today, we're putting two of the biggest names in data visualization head to head, Tableau versus Power BI. Both of these tools are powerhouses in the data world, but how do you choose the one that's right for you? Whether you're a beginner just stepping into data analytics or a seasoned pro looking to make a switch, this video will break down the key differences, strengths, and limitations of both platforms. Let's get into it. First off, let's talk about what these tools actually do. Both Tableau and Power BI are designed to help you visualize and analyze data, but they have slightly different target audiences and use cases. Tableau is known for its powerful detailed visualizations and it's widely used by data professionals. It's great for in-depth analytics, especially for businesses handling large volumes of data. But with that power comes a steeper learning curve and often a higher price point. On the other hand, Power BI is Microsoft's answer to data visualization, and it's designed to integrate smoothly with the rest of the Microsoft ecosystem, like Excel and Azure. So if you're already familiar with Microsoft tools, Power BI might feel like a natural fit. It's also a bit more beginner friendly and tends to be the more affordable option, especially for small to mid-sized businesses. Now that we have a high level overview, let's get into the finer details. To keep things simple, we're going to be comparing both tools across five categories. Number one, ease of use. Number two, data handling and performance. Number three, visualization and customization. Number four, pricing. And number five, integrations and ecosystem. Let's kick things off with ease of use, because nobody wants to spend hours trying to figure out how to make a simple chart, right? If you're new to data visualization, Power BI might feel a bit more user friendly. The interface is clean and easy to navigate, especially if you're familiar with Microsoft tools like Excel. However, it's important to note that Power BI is primarily designed to work on Microsoft Windows. So if you're a Mac user, you might be better off going with Tableau, which is more platform agnostic. Anyways, Power BI is designed to help you get insights quickly without needing advanced technical skills. Whether you're pulling in data from Excel or using built-in templates, Power BI makes it easy to go from raw numbers to a polished report in no time. It's ideal for users who need quick, actionable insights without a steep learning curve. Tableau, on the other hand, is like stepping into a more advanced toolkit. While it may take a bit longer to get comfortable with, especially for beginners, it offers incredible depth once you're familiar with it. Tableau is crafted for those who want to create sophisticated, highly customized visualizations. It's the kind of tool where the more you invest in learning it, the more powerful it becomes. It's a favorite among data professionals who need more than just the basics and are working with complex data sets or demanding visual requirements. Now let's talk about data handling and performance, because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how easy a tool is if it can't handle the size of your data. When it comes to working with massive data sets, Tableau tends to have the upper hand. It's built to handle large-scale data and complex queries without slowing down too much. This makes it a top choice for enterprises dealing with high volumes of data or needing real-time analytics. Tableau also offers integration with R and Python for advanced data manipulation and statistical analysis, making it an excellent choice for data scientists or those who need more computational power. Power BI, on the other hand, works best with smaller to mid-sized datasets. That's not to say that it can't handle large datasets, but you might notice it starts to struggle a bit with performance as your data grows. However, it's worth noting that with the premium subscription, Power BI can scale up to handle larger projects with higher data capacities, making it more competitive at the enterprise level. But what really sets Power BI apart in terms of data analysis is its DAX formula language, which offers unparalleled power and flexibility. DAX allows you to create custom calculations and complex aggregations with your data models. So if you're working in an environment where speed and scalability are crucial, Tableau is your go-to. But for smaller teams or businesses dealing with moderate sized data, Power BI will likely do the job just fine. Now let's get into what everyone really cares about, visualization and customization. How good do these tools make your data look? If you're someone who loves having full creative control, Tableau is where you'll feel right at home. It's known for its stunning high quality visualizations. From detailed charts to interactive dashboards, Tableau gives you virtually endless options to customize the look and feel of your reports. It's perfect for those of you who need your data to not only be informative, but also visually impressive. Power BI, on the other hand, prioritizes simplicity. While it doesn't offer the same level of customization as Tableau, it still provides a solid set of visual options. 
The visuals are clear, concise, and easy to digest, making it perfect for business reports and dashboards. Power BI is all about efficiency. It's great if you need something clean and effective without spending hours tweaking every detail. In short, Tableau gives you more design freedom, while Power BI helps you create polished professional visuals in less effort. Let's face it, pricing is a big factor when choosing a tool, especially if you're running a small business or a team with a limited budget. When it comes to pricing, Power BI offers flexibility and affordability. Power BI Desktop is free, making it ideal for individual users, while Power BI Pro costs $10 per user per month, giving small to medium-sized teams the ability to collaborate and share reports across the organization. For larger teams, Power BI Premium provides dedicated cloud resources and advanced capabilities with pricing starting at $20 per month per user. Now Tableau starts with its viewer plan which costs $15 per user per month, but as you might have guessed it, it only allows interaction with dashboards. For those who want to create visualizations, Tableau Explorer is $42 per user per month. While Tableau Creator, designed for full access to all of Tableau's features, is $75 per user per month. So if you're looking for a cost-effective solution, Power BI has got you covered. But if your priority is high-end data visualizations and you're willing to invest, Tableau may be worth the extra cost. Lastly, let's talk about integrations and ecosystems, because your data tool is only as good as how well it fits into your existing workflow. Power BI is a no-brainer if you're already living in the Microsoft world. Its integration with tools like Excel, Azure, and Office 365 is seamless, allowing you to pull in data from multiple Microsoft services with just a few clicks. This makes Power BI an easy fit for companies that are already using Microsoft products across the board. Tableau, while not as tightly integrated with Microsoft products, has the advantage of being more flexible with other platforms. You can connect it to a wide variety of data sources, including Google Analytics, Salesforce, and SQL databases, among others. So if your organization is using multiple platforms, Tableau might be a better fit for its versatility. In the end, if you're deep in the Microsoft ecosystem, Power BI will feel like a natural extension of your tools. But if you need a platform that plays well with multiple different services, Tableau has the flexibility to integrate with pretty much everything. Alright, so we've broken down the key differences between Power BI and Tableau across several categories. But at the end of the day, the right choice really comes down to your specific needs. If you're looking for more advanced visualization, scalability, and customization options, Tableau is worth the investment. But if you need an easy-to-use, budget-friendly tool that integrates seamlessly with Microsoft products, Power BI is the way to go. And if you want to dive deeper into Power BI, make sure to check out our complete Power BI Bootcamp course that will take you from an absolute beginner to a confident business intelligence analyst. If this breakdown helped you out, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more data-related content. Let me know in the comments which tool you prefer and why. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.